Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. I'm Pete. And we are coming to you from Midtown Comics uh, in New York, New York City. New York and City. And all three of us are here at the same no, time. It's very exciting. Well, I sleep here. Like, right here. Yeah. So it yeah. makes sense. Pete, Justin, just to put it to rest, have you guys been fighting? Yes. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah. All the time. Fist uh, fights. This is the first time I haven't punched It's it. not the fact that we hate each other. We can't get together and film. That's just yeah. this. We but do hate guys, each other. But you it's guys are enough. making up, right? Yeah. Very... One might even say making a merger of sorts. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like like two great of... enemies are coming together. <laughs> yeah. And in a similar way, Disney bought Marvel. I don't know if you guys heard about yeah, that. Two weird worlds. Yeah, totally no. crazy. So, uh, what do you guys think about this? Disney buying Marvel, in case you didn't actually hear. Disney bought Marvel for $4 billion. Four nice bills. Yeah. I well. felt like Marvel could have held out for more. But, yeah. Four <laughs> billion dollar bills they slid across yeah. the table, right? In a Joe Q's hand. <laughs> Absolutely. And he was like... Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> he was very He, he was burned very one. He lit a cigar oh, with one of them. Joe <laughs> Q was like, hey, everybody take a deep breath. Nothing's going to happen, which I'm having a hard time believing. Well, what well, do you think's going to happen? What do, what, do you, what do you think the negative thing that's going to happen is? I don't want to see watered-down versions of the things I love. Here's the thing. There's no way that Disney's going to come in here and be making editorial decisions on comic books. Right. Well, my thing is... And no I way. There's no way it's going to happen. But no. what about a show that comes out or a new TV series that's... Hey, that's where yes. the issue is. Is. Yeah, it's, it's movies and television. It's Happy Wolverine. Specif that's not going to happen either. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically movies, I worry that Disney's going to try to uh, make the, the comic book movies that, like Iron Man being the prototype, what they're going to do with all the other Avengers movies coming out, they're going to try to make them uh, push toward a skew toward a younger audience, like your Jonas Brothers audience. And pretty soon you have what? Tony Stark not drinking the hard stuff, but getting uh, he's gonna he's gonna go one too many juice pixies. crazy yeah juice crazy of course uh, well, tomato juice. well I don't think that's gonna happen either I think Disney is relatively speaking a pretty smart company because they're a gigantic company they know what they're doing they're gonna take the properties that are youth friendly or kid friendly and those are the ones they're gonna concentrate on for the Disneyfication yeah, Disneyfication are nice. they are they a smart company or are they evil. Oh. That is the question. Interesting is there point. a difference? I, mean, they I run, actually didn't know that they were run an amusement park. Is that evil? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever That's been there? Nice. Yeah, yeah. I go, used to go there all the time. Yeah, well, that was actually point. another thing people were talking about a lot was theme park rides. I think it's crazy. There's so many people were like putting online, like, finally, I can get the roller coaster I want. I'm like, really? Is that where the, the first thought was? My big concern is that DC is going to buy Disney and then deep shut down Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> I think happen. actually let's start the rumor here that I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, let's say no, we heard I that. Heard that. I, know, I, I heard that. I heard that thought was going to happen. Uh, I don't know. I, DC will buy us. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's anything for Mistake. people to get worried about. They're all going to be very smart about it because they know people are really into these properties, really into these characters, really into these ideas. So they're not going to do anything big to really change it or destroy it. Steamboat well, Spidey. Why buy it, Steamboat then? Spidey. I think. Why buy it then if you're not going to touch it? That's what well, I'm worried about. Well, because you can you can grow it. Something like Pixar, for example, they haven't changed what Pixar does. What Pixar got from it is they got global distribution, they got their stuff in Disney stores, which sells more Pixar stuff, which is better for their movies, and they still, if you look at Up, you look at Wally, it's not like those aren't pieces of art. You're right. I think there's finally going to be stores where comic books can be sold. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, so there could be some sort of store right here in Times yeah, Square. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, One on the east side and the west side. Guys, let us know what you think. Uh, comment in the section Have below. you been sleeping a well? while? <laughs> yeah. yeah. right Write us at Comic Book Club Live Nervous. at gmail.com, twitter.com, slash Comic Book Live, popcultureshock.com slash CB Club. Also, iTunes Comic Book Club Live, where you can download these very episodes. And Pete, if you're ever in New York City on a Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, we'd love to see the People's Improv Theater. We do our live show. And Wednesdays, we're here in Midtown. So we spend a lot of time us, here. If you're yeah, in Midtown, Midtown Comics, thanks for hosting us. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.